Hey, what's up guys? And welcome back to another Dirt Bike Magazine video. Today, we're testing the 2024 Gas Gas MC125. <laughs> Last year's Gas Gas MC125 was the child of a different era. It had a carburetor, a mechanical power valve, and essentially the same technology as a bike from the 80s. Now it's undergone the same transformation that KTM and Husqvarna received last year, including electric start and throttle body fuel injection that is digitally linked to an electronic power valve. The Gas Gas offers a 39 millimeter Kian throttle body for its fuel injection platform. The brass at Gas Gas still makes a sincere effort at keeping the price down. This is done with less pricey components. The brakes and hydraulic clutch are from Brake Tech. The triple clamp is forged. The bars are different. The wheels are silver and the tires are Maxxis. The Gas Gas now shares the same frame as the KTM and Husqvarna. If you remember our KTM or Husqvarna 125 test videos, we mentioned that some of our test riders gel with the new frame and others would prefer the previous generation platform that offered more flex and rider comfort. That was kind of part of Gas Gas's bargaining chip last year. You could get the previous generation frame in 2023 if you weren't interested in what the KTM or Husqvarna had to offer. It is the only bike in the Gas Gas range that comes with a map switch. This offers riders a choice between rich and lean maps. The Gas Gas received new bodywork including a new gripper seat cover this year. Overall, the Gas Gas is a less expensive option from the Austrian Big 3. You can purchase this bike at a lower price point and add all the goodies you want later. Let's be honest, most racers will send their suspension off, put their bars of choice on, and follow that up with a full exhaust system. In terms of a serious racer who is buying multiple bikes, this lower price point can help on the back end of a big tab to go chase the amateur scene all season. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
getting the Gas Gas MC125. Let's start with the price. At $7,499, the MC125 is far less than anything else with its kind of technology. It has most of the same parts as the Husky TE150, which sells for $10,199. Gotta give Yamaha some credit here. Clearly, Gas Gas is keeping the price down to be closer to the YZ125. The Gas Gas also has excellent low-end power way down in the basement. You can open the throttle on any gear and expect results. The real highlight of the show is overall handling. The bike is sheer magic. You can stuff the MC125 into turns so easily that you begin to believe that you developed amazing riding skills overnight. The suspension is excellent too, although aimed at novice and junior riders. The Gas Gas MC125 does have a mellower feel all the way around in terms of suspension settings and power delivery when compared to its Austrian cousins. Surprisingly, the Gas Gas has the mildest peak power output of all the bikes in the 125 class that we've tested. In most classes, we're unconcerned with such things, but 125 riders live and die according to outright horsepower. The gas gas is also heavier than it was last year. On our scale, it's 207 pounds. Last year, it was 195. Most of that is in the starter and battery. Also, there were some complaints of hesitation when the throttle and clutch are worked hard together. If you're a serious racer in the 125 class, power is everything. The Gas Gas has all the DNA building blocks to compete at the highest level, but you'll definitely have to spend a little cash to get the most out of it. For the average rider, the bike is just fine, and the softer suspension with mellower power band might be more enticing to ride for a weekend warrior. Do you really need a fire-breathing monster of a 125 to hit the tracks on the weekends? Absolutely not. Pierre Mobility has three brands and each of them in the 125 class speaks to a different rider. Depending on how you're going to use a 125 will help you make your final purchase. For now, Pierre Mobility is all in on fuel injection and we're actually really excited to see where it goes from here. We're delighted that the Gas Gas has joined its siblings with the next generation technology, but we were hoping that Gas Gas would benefit from what KTM and Husqvarna learned in the previous year. Most of the issues that surfaced in 2023 are still with us across all three lines. As the latecomer to the gang of three, the Gas Gas MC125 suffers from self-induced handicaps. It has less of an edge in most ways. We still have respect for the company's willingness to offer e-start and such obviously expensive technology at a price that's not that far out of reach. We hope Gas Gas keeps that philosophy. Well, that's it for the Gas Gas MC125 test for 2024. We hope you like this video and if you haven't seen our KTM 125 or Husqvarna TC 125 test videos check them out here and for all the latest news and reviews in the off-road and motocross world head over to dirtbikemagazine.com and don't forget to follow us on Instagram Twitter and Facebook we'll see you down the trail on the next one